On this episode, we hang out at Columbus Tri-State Artisans, talk about art in the heart of the Arts District, and take you behind the scenes of a recent public event. I want to welcome you to another edition of the Hashtag Celebrate Columbus Show. My name is Josh Burnett, and as you can see, we've got a special guest with us today. Uh, we're hanging out at Columbus Tri-State Artisans, and I'm really excited about this episode. Uh, back a couple mo uh, months ago, I actually started interacting with a couple different people from Tri-State Artisans, and I thought, man, we have to get them on the show. But before we did that, I actually got to experience an actual public art event, and I can't wait for you to see at the end. You don't want to miss that, so make sure to stick around. Before we introduce our guest, I want to give a special shout out to my friend April Williams from the Parks Foundation here in Columbus. She's the one who hooked me up with this awesome Columb bike shirt, and I've actually uh, got to ride around on the Columb bike many times. And maybe you've seen uh, some pictures floating around of the actor John Cho from the movie Columbus. He actually rode around on a Columb bike as well. Uh, but now that we've got that shout out of the way, I want to introduce our special guest to you. Why don't you go ahead and tell the audience uh, your name? Uh, what you do here at Tri-State Artisans and what we're going to be talking about today. My name is Melissa Reardon. I am an artist. I'm a potter. So I have some things for sale here at Tri-State Artisans, but I'm also an instructor. So I teach classes and events, children and adults, um, lots of different things, and we'll talk about some of that later. Yeah, and so just right away, before we get into the questions from everyone, you know, the question that everybody wants to know is, what is Tri-State Artisans? We are actually a two-part business. What you're going to see, we are located at 422 Washington Street, and you're going to see the storefront. So we are a retail space, and we offer artists the opportunity to sell their things here. Um, we have over 50 artists represented, so we have a lot of different items and art available for you to come and look at and to purchase. Um, and we are also an art studio. So we have a we have a studio with the classroom where we have classes, events. We've done fundraisers for up to 70 people in the space. So we have a lot of room and a lot of enthusiasm to teach and to bring active art into Columbus. Awesome. Well, I can't wait to answer some of your questions that we've got from you. So let's get into the show. How did Columbus Tri-State Artisans get their start in Columbus? Well, we actually began in Batesville. The owner started, she had a vision for having a place where artists could show their work at a decent price and have people see their work, but also be able to purchase their work. So Tri-State Artisans started in Batesville in the basement of a flower shop in 2011. Wow. And from there, some things changed, they moved to a different location, um, but Jamie always had a vision that there's something bigger to this. And in looking for a new location, Columbus just seemed like a perfect fit. Um, we are right downtown, um, we're in the heart of the Arts District, you'll hear that a lot, and we, we feel that it's a perfect fit. Um, what we've brought here is, well I shouldn't say we, Jamie came first. I actually came into the store two days after they were open in the summer of 2014. Um, and after that, I really have not left. Um, I came in as an artist looking for a place to sell my pottery. And from there it turned into, now I'm an instructor. Um, I'm always looking for, we're always looking for new artists to bring their things in. We're always looking for new classes to be able to teach and things to do with people so that they can find that creative passion themselves and we want to share that with you. What kind of activities are available at Columbus Tri-State Artisans? We do have a lot of activities available. Um, we have events and we have classes. Those are for adults, children, teenagers. I think one of our oldest um, drawing students is in his 80s. Oh, that's awesome. That's a cool story. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, we have, as far as events go, an event is something that you will actually come to our studio, usually about two hours. It will be longer. If it's going to be longer than that, it's usually listed. Um, and what you will do is come. We'll have a painting that you've chosen 
the group will paint the same painting together. Our instructors, our goal is to teach you something. We do not want you to walk out of here with a copycat painting. So what you're seeing in the samples online, you might not go home with that exact thing. We don't want that. You come to a blank canvas, white canvas. Some people are terrified. Um, it is not sketched out and it is not a paint by number. So what we're hoping to do as you go through it is to teach you something and you came to an event, you should yeah. know that that's pretty much how it works. Yeah, we actually came to uh, my family and we actually had a hashtag celebrate Columbus event, our very first event, it was an art event. And what was it about? Tell them everybody what it was well, about. Well, what we did, um, I've taken a rendition of Van Gogh's Starry Night and we have adapted that to Columbus. So instead of the moon, we have the dancing sea in the sky. And when you come, you have your choice of which buildings you're going to add in. We try to break those down into shapes for you so it's not as intimidating and you can personalize it that way and then have your own work of art to take home. And this is actually my wife Katie's painting because I know she's watching right now and she's like, that's not yours? <laughs> yes, I know, it's not mine. Uh, but I really was so um, just honored that we got to be a part of doing this event with so many people from the Columbus area. And I saw, we actually did a video and we'll be showing you that experience later where everyone was just like, oh man, I can't wait to come to that event. It's fun. And I mean, this is a great event, but you have events all the time. We do. And the best way to check on the events, um, pretty much we have one listed every day of the week. Weekends, there might be multiple times and things to choose from. But the best way to check that is on our website. Um, our Facebook page is a good source to go to, but the website, and Aaron's gonna link that up for you. Check the website. Um, you will see Columbus on there. You're gonna click that, takes you to the events page, and that's also where you can register and sign up to come and be a part of one of our classes. What kind of merchandise do you sell here at Tri-State Artisans? Well, as a potter and one of the artists here, we'll start with one of my own. Um, we do have pottery, and my work is mostly slab work that I do. Um, not only that, we have another potter who does the wheel thrown pottery. We have glass artists, wood artists, fine art. We have a watercolor artist that some of the brushes she uses only have a single bristle. So you're looking at very fine detail work. Um, photography, we have a couple local photographers, so you'll see a lot of Columbus photos, digital art, those types of things. Um, usually, I think right now we have about 50 artists and they're all within a five hour radius of here. So it's, you're getting that local work. If you're looking for something unique, you will always find something unique in here as a gift or for yourself. I suggest both. Give something, keep something for yourself. Hey Morgan, could you go ahead and hand me that? Um, I have a really cool thing that I want to show you guys. Um, one of the artists here at Tri-State Artisans is a guy named Don Kingen, and um, he has DK boxes, correct? DK boxes. With DK boxes. boxes, and this was actually a gift that was waiting for me and for us uh, when we did our Hashtag Celebrate Columbus event here. So I just want to give a special shout out to you, Don. Thank you so much for making this awesome custom piece. Uh, this has a special place in our home, so I want to say thank you to Don. He's one of many local artists where you can buy some really special pieces of art here at Tri-State Artisans. Well, we're gonna take a break right now from the Hashtag Celebrate Columbus show. Thanks for watching. Here's a word from our sponsors. I'm a huge fan of Indiana Smokehouse and have personally tried everything on their menu. The meat is smoked to perfection. The salad bar is fresh and locally grown and their daily features are delicious. It seems like every Friday my wife asks me to go get their smoked salmon. Me personally, I love their chicken and their brisket. If you're looking for the best barbecue in the Columbus area, check out Indiana Smokehouse. Matt and Gloria are the best. Well, we're coming to that point of the show uh, where we're getting towards the end. And Melissa, I know that you watch the show regularly, Hi. correct? which means a lot to me, thank you for that. Um, and so at the end of the show, guys, we like to ask a question to you, and we would love it if you would give some feedback in the comments. This means a lot to the people that we interview, and it helps them. Uh, there's a number of different questions, types of questions that people will ask. So, Melissa, um, if it was up to you, if you could only ask the audience one question, what would you ask them? Okay, well, we're gonna go for two. Okay, that's, that's cool. We're gonna go for two. 
Um, based on our retail store, which we call the gallery, if you were to shop at an art gallery, what do you look to purchase? What are you looking for? Um, and the other part of that question would have to be, if you're going to come to a class in our studio, what type of art would you like to learn? What do you want to learn how to do? Is there something that you haven't been able to maybe tap into and we could offer that for you? What types of things are you drawn to when it comes to art? Perfect. Well, hey, please make sure, it would mean so much to both of us uh, if you would please answer that question in the comments below. Uh, we're actually going to take you behind the scenes now to a recent uh, event that Celebrate Columbus Show had here at Tri-State Artisans. I want to thank you for watching the show. You keep asking questions and we'll keep celebrating Columbus together. Sure.